Hey guys, it's Brian Powered and uh, welcome back to my channel. Um, I want to talk about this uh, Christian teacher that lost her job after um, refusing to deceive parents um, on the kids' gender transitions. And I want to say that um, when I saw this, I, I knew, I knew that this is this is bigger than just her losing her job. Um, I do believe that we are under an attack. I do believe that the enemy is just trying to attack. The enemy is attacking our kids. The enemy is trying to just attack our minds um, and just our hearts. And just, it just goes back to the video that I made um, about Asbury. Um, while we are out, you have just hundreds and thousands of uh, college kids that are out, um, you know, in a revival, worshiping God. And um, the enemy knows that the power that that has been bringing through the nation, the enemy knows that um, just people are traveling near and far. Um, and, a, and a good bit of these people, you know, just kids, this is running through TikTok, you know, social media, the enemy knows that. So he is trying to come even harder and I'm just going to go ahead and say it um I don't think this is going to be the last time this is going to happen I think more of these things are going to happen and more of us are going to have to stand up confess our faith and and stand up for God just as he stood up for us um this is definitely a attack and we you see it more and more every single day um we are in critical times people we we are in critical times and I, I i just want to say if if you don't know god you need to need to try to know him and need to get closer to him um and i have chills right now just just thinking about it um the enemy is on attack he is going around as the word said like a lion looking to devour and we have to be strong and we have to know where we need to run to we we have to know where we can run to and hide to and where you know where it's safe at we have to know that and that's it's so important to know god and know his word and that way you can just know even in decisions like this to where you're having to choose your job or your faith and it and it, and it takes faith to know that though i may not have a job and i'm going to have to choose my religion i'm going to have to have faith because i lose my job today you know i mean i have a job tomorrow You're going to need faith in God to know that he is going to provide. And um, so I'm just going to look at this article right here. Um, and um, she lost her job, um, you know, after refusing to reply with uh, California's district gender policy. And I will say, I just could not imagine having a kid going to school right now in California or any other state um, that is allowing stuff like this. Um, I, I just could not imagine it. Um, and you know, just from, from the article, she just felt conflicted, um, you know, just to where she was a PE teacher and asked to allow students that had male genitals into the female bathroom. Um, and she even said that she was at the point where she said that, um, am I going to obey the district in the directive that are not lining up with my own beliefs, conviction and faith, or am I going to stay true? choose my faith or choose to be obedient um the way the lord has called me to live and this goes back to another video that i said this is living without compromise and i'm just going to say that when we live without compromise we can shine even more light she stood up for god and knew that it conflicted what she believed in and i don't blame her i don't care what position i'm in I'm not compromising. I may not have a job tomorrow, but I'm going to have my salvation tomorrow and today. You know, I am not compromising. And this is going to be very important, people, because I don't believe this is going to be the last time something like this is going to happen. We are going to have to stand firm on our faith. Um, so I'm just going to listen to a um, little bit of this video here. And um, when someone has conceived, 
confusion about that. I believe you know that's lies and confusion from the devil, and I I don't believe that it's something that I should be affirming. Um, I don't believe in my faith that that's what love is. That but that's how God's calling us to love is by affirming those lies and confusion. Um, so how how that came up for me again is students found that out, reported to my school district my views, and then that's when the district began investigating and having various meetings with me, and I found out clearly about the directives that are upon teachers. And see, this is a problem for me. The fact that, you know, she was on social media and so vocal about her um, Christian belief. And it was just that simple of kids to go on and, you know, report it back to the school district. And she, you know, was at a point where she's choosing um, her Christian beliefs or her job. Um, and I want to put a disclaimer here. This video, I'm not bashing anybody who, you know, is taking part in these gender transitions or they have kids that are, um, I'm not bashing anyone. I'm not bashing anyone in the LGBT community, LGBT plus community. I I'm, I'm not, this is not what this video is about. This video is to shed light on what is happening in the world, the spiritual warfare that we are a part of, and that is going to become bigger and bigger because the enemy knows what is about to happen. The enemy knows uh, who we are serving. The enemy knows that God is preparing his people and he knows what's in store for us because you got to understand, we got to remember who the enemy was who the enemy once was. And at the end of the day, it's going to be about, will you stand on the word of God? Will you stand up for the word of God? We are going to be put in positions to where our faith is going to be tested. And we're going to have to make some very, and I'm getting chills right now, just by talking about this, we're going to have to make some very, very tough decisions. But if you know God and you know where to run to, and you know, his word, and you know that you can stand on him, that decision is going to be much, much better. But I think this attack is on our kids. They're on our kids. Um, I've never seen so much uh, depression and just uh, just uh, identity crisis. Um, I've never seen so much of this. And it used to be, you know, back in the day to where kids were, it was a trend or um, people did not feel loved or they felt like they didn't get attention at home. But now it's just becoming greater and greater um, to the fact that these things are being encouraged on, uh, you know, Disney Plus. It, and it's almost like kids are not even getting um, making a choice. It's almost like they're forced into stuff like this. And, um, but I want to pray, you know, anybody right now, um, that has a kid that is going to just these California school districts. Um, I pray for you right now. I just cannot imagine, you know, what you are going through, um, this teacher right here. And I, I'll say it, maybe she needs to teach at a Christian school. Um, maybe she needs to take her talents to a Christian school. I read that she went into being want to be a teacher just to be a light to the kids coming from a very rough home because she did. So imagine going into a occupation, trying to be a light, doing God's work just for it to end this way for you to lose your job because of being a light and doing God's work. But you know, maybe she needs to go to a Christian school where, you know, the school aligns up with her beliefs. But I know that's easier said than done um, because there's not as many Christian schools um, around the nation as it is public schools. And maybe that's something that, you know, we need more of. Maybe we need more Christian schools. But um, it, it, it's tough right now. I cannot even imagine, you know, um, just having my kids out um, in, in districts like this. But I, I do know that. uh this too shall pass while this is a spiritual warfare god is still in control and um if you continue to hold on to him because we are in critical times people and i'll say this again we are in critical times and it is time to and it's always been time to know him but these are critical times these are the times that the bible speaks of i cannot stress that enough these are the times here and we have to hold on to God. We have to hold on to our faith 
and and just stuff like this when you are on stages like this you have to make decisions like this without compromise god is looking down and seeing this and this here she went into this occupation trying to be a light but this decision she just made was it has put her into a bigger light but i believe this here um it, it's going to keep on going more of us are going to get into this kind of position and i'll I, i'll say you know if i'm put into it i'll make the same decision and I, I i will not compromise that is the thing do not compromise god is in control god is going to cover you god is going to be there even if you are put in this kind of situation make the decision because god stood up for us even when we did not stand up for ourselves but this is ridiculous leave a comment here um kind of let me know what your thoughts are about this um do you feel like this is this is uh this identity crisis here that's happening do you think this is from the enemy um are you um do you have any kids that are experiencing um the same thing um do you have any kids that are going to school to so where they're seeing this kind of stuff? How are you handling this? Because I'm, I'm curious to know um, as a parent, you know, how are you handling things like this? Um, thank you guys for watching this video and I will see you guys in the next video.